Once again, the Chicago Police Department mourns the loss of a police officer, this time in Gage Park. Glenn Marshall's live at police headquarters with more. Good morning, Glenn. Hey, good morning, guys. Now, this officer was killed just two days before his 31st birthday, and last night the community came together to honor him after he was shot and killed while he was on his way home from protecting the city. Inside St. Gall Parish on the southwest side, Sunday evening's mass held dedicated to fallen Chicago police officer Luis Huesca. The church filled with officers, family, and loved ones. Was then followed by a walk to the crime scene where Luis Huesca lost his life. Six year member of the department, working very hard out there to keep communities and to keep people safe. And today, that officer was a victim of the type of crime that he was working against. Superintendent Larry Snelling says the shooting happened just before 3 in the morning. 30-year-old Luis Huesca's vehicle was stolen as he was headed home from work. He was off duty, but police say his uniform was found shot multiple times near the 3100 block of 56th Street. Huesca was taken to University of Chicago Medical Center, where he later died. Mayor Brandon Johnson says Luis Huesca was a member of the 5th District Priority Response Team while expressing the city is grieving. He released a statement saying, I met with Officer Huesca's mother and uncle this morning and assured them that they have the full support of my administration as they deal with this unspeakable loss. Luis Huesca lost his life nearly a year after someone shot and killed Officer Ariana Preston while outside of her home after finishing her shift. Both officers worked out at the 5th District Police Station. Neighbors in Gage Park say the crime isn't a normal occurrence. It could have been any of us, too. But I do feel kind of bad, though, because it's like this neighborhood, nothing happens. It's so quiet. There's a church, there's a grocery store, there's a high school. If they will do that to a Chicago police officer, what does anybody think the average citizen stands a chance in any of these situations? Now, CPD has not officially said this was a carjacking, but we do know that the superintendent did say that this person's vehicle was stolen. In the meantime, if you have any information that can lead to an arrest in this shooting, police would like you to contact them immediately. We're now live outside of police headquarters on Glenn Marshall, WGN News. And we're learning more about Officer Weska. He would have celebrated his 31st birthday tomorrow, as Glenn mentioned. Weska was also killed in the same neighborhood where Officer Andres Vasquez Lasso was shot and killed while responding to a domestic dispute last March. At the time, Weska appeared in an emotional video remembering Vasquez Lasso. The two were killed only a few blocks away.